Welcome Scorpio to your weekly love reading for October 16th to the 22nd of 2017. So let's see what's going on with you Scorpio for this week. Shuffle a little bit because I already did off camera. Scorpio October 16th to the 22nd in love. Remember to check out your moon sign or your rising sign if these don't directly speak to what's going on with you. They are general. Theme or central issue, you do have judgment reverse. So either dealing with another Scorpio or some issues with making a decision about either changes that you may want to make. Um, you may be having an issue with being judged by others. Um, if you do make a certain decision, if you were to um, get into a relationship with someone, um, waiting for someone and it not being the right time or making a decision um, impulsively that kind of decision so I feel like something that's kind of on hold all right what's crossing that is the hermit reverse so because of that a lot of you are kind of isolating yourself right now feeling a bit alone um, abandoned by maybe a Pisces or a Virgo for some of you out there but there are some issues right here um, and I feel like some of you are needing to break away from uh, restricting yourself and that's why this could be an obstacle and was possibly crossing you all right. The base of everything is the page of wands reverse. So you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius issues with communication coming through issues with plans moving forward. It could be with you and your child. Um, this could be a younger romantic partner that you are involved with, but um, just not really feeling good about yourself this week. Could be having some doubts about your own personal power. Things like that could be coming through. The recent past is the Eight of Pentacles reverse, so not really dedicated to the work that you are doing. Some of you may not have a job, you're still looking for employment, but you could have been laid off, you know, issues like that. I'm just not really feeling motivated, I feel. So you're kind of coming into this week, maybe with some of this lingering energy right here. What could be this week is the Hangman, so trying to figure out a bunch of different things and sometimes this person right here is in introspective mode taking time to relax but this is running around doing a whole bunch of different things just trying to get away from your issue you know what's really bothering you and it's almost like hiding something from yourself so i feel like a lot of running around a certain issue you're not wanting to stay restricted um, be indecisive, but this energy could be having you like this. So it's almost like the four swords reverse where you're constantly thinking about something, wanting to run away from it, but having some issues, I feel. The near future, we do have the nine of swords reverse. So a process of slowly but surely getting over your worries, your fears, you know, that could be really um, taking a toll on you and your peace of mind. So your fears are issues with the home, whether or not you want to get a new home, the stability of your home, your relationship, partner, marriage, whether or not your partner is just there to use you for money. I feel a lot of you may be thinking about that or vice versa. If you are um, just having issues with stabilizing things, I feel um, some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo or a Taurus. You could be away from your home. You have a lot of reversals, but, you know, one good card that comes out in reverse is the Nine of Swords reverse. So um, I feel like um, there are definitely some issues maybe with finances, I feel, for many of you out there. So that's a fear that you may be having. All right. Now, how others may be seeing you this week. Wow. You have a tough week ahead for some of you. Now, you can this is like a warning, but you can channel this into a different way. You know, try to get motivated and say, OK, these are the energies that may pop up. You know, what can I do right now to try to combat these things? So some of you may be dealing with a Leo. You're going through a bit of sadness as well. Um, but I feel like this is definitely definitely um, emotional healing. A lot of you are still dealing with the loss of someone, a relationship. Um, say if you're still in a um, uh, court, you know, dealing with a, a hearing and you're just waiting for things to kind of clear up for a decision or judgment to be made, um, then that is like you still feeling sad and depressed about something not really starting. So now your partner, your romantic partner, if you're dealing with a partner, someone, 
they can't stop thinking about you. Maybe you can't stop thinking about them or certain issues that they are having with a certain arrangement. We won't see what this is here for, but um, they could be having a lot of um, trauma, you know, different things that are going on psychologically, a lot of fears that they are having, but very um, restless nights that they could be going through. And the outcome for the week, financial issues. Um, I just did, I believe that was um, Libra. Did Libra have this? No, Libra didn't have this. I think it was the Virgo. Virgo might have had the two of pentacles reversed. So a lot of issues with uh, spending, uh, trying to balance the home, the work life, you know, you time, all of those kind of things going on and having issues with that. So just be mindful. Maybe this week is um, a bit tough for you on a financial level in your love life. So um, let me see. Clarify the four swords reverse for your partner. If you're dealing with someone, it doesn't have to be a partner, maybe someone new. The Scorpio feel about four swords reverse. The star, and I feel like for many of you, that this person is excited to get to know you. They may not be revealing that to you. Um, there could be some obstacles in their way if they're dealing with another person and trying to get around that issue um, or around the fact that you are having issues with opening up to them. So that could be causing you some delays. You know, there could be some issues with you, say, if you are holding back because that person has children. Or vice versa. You know, those could be some issues there. That's what I feel. Maybe you feel like the children are bad. Or you feel like they're just, um, that you're not willing to get into something like that because of all of these financial concerns that you're having. That's what I feel uh, for some of you. But I feel like your partner is inspired or happy to get to know you and be with you. But um, the connection is probably frustrating them. All right. They may be addicted to you. That's what I said. Um, let's see. Clarify judgment reverse for Scorpio. And then you have these seven of wands. So this is still this energy of either letting someone know that you want to get to know them, connect with them, get a second chance to retry or something like that. But often, you know, pushing someone away because you're just not wanting it right now. You know, so that's what I was feel when I see judgment here. There are some issues there, so you're isolating yourself. And let's clarify the nine of swords reverse for Scorpio. Yeah, you are some of you are just needing some space right now. I feel this week most definitely, at least this week, you're needing to do that. And some of you could definitely be um focusing on a move or just work in general and trying to uh, make sure that you're confident in that way. Uh, that's why I feel like some of you may not be feeling uh, your best right now. Okay. So those are your messages for this week. I do hope that they um, helped you out. Uh, remember that they are general. If you would like a private or personal reading where I tap into your specific energy and situation, you can go to psychiclovehills.com. All right. Have a good one.